Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwash. I welcome you all in my channel, Chemistry of the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is a very interesting topic. You can see partial double bond fixation in naphthalene. By the way, naphthalene is actually aromatic nucleus. So you can see here, so it is a delocalized system. I am talking bond fixation means localization. Is it true? Yes, it is true. This unique property we are going to discuss today and today's topic will cover mainly the reason of this property as well as application in synthetic organic chemistry. But before going to the main topic, one MCQ for you. I request you please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box. Don't worry, at the end of the discussion, you will have the right answer along with the mechanism. So let's start. Now, actually I am talking the bond fixation of naphthalene, but we know a common thing that both benzene and naphthalene both are aromatic means delocalized according to Huckel rule. By the way, what is Huckel rule? Huckel rule is nothing but a condition for aromaticity means a compound will be aromatic if the compound is cyclic, it is planar, each atom must have one p orbital and they are in conjugation together and if it has 4 and plus 2 number of pi electrons, it will be aromatic means you can say it is a stable or if it has 4 in number of pi electron, it is anti-aromatic means it is unstable. So this is the basic of Fouquet rule. If you want to learn further, I have already uploaded a dedicated lecture on it. Please visit. Now, according to this Huckel rule, both naphthalene and benzene, they are aromatic. Here, n value is 1 and here n value is 2. Obviously, I am talking 4n plus 2 rule. But why naphthalene has this partial bond fixation? In order to understand this, first let's understand about benzene. If you look at benzene, if I do the numbering, it's, it's by the way student practice this numbering it is very helpful and draw structure by yourself. So if you look at between bond carbon number 1 and 2 there is a double bond but if you look at here carbon number 1 and 2 there is a single bond. So you can say since it is a complete delocalization so 6 electrons are completely delocalized over all carbon equal distribution. So it's a complete delocalization but if you look at lactylene in structure number 1, both ring, ring number 1 and ring number 2, both are aromatic. But if you look at canonical form 2, in this case, ring 1 is aromatic, but ring 2 no, not, because look at here. In this structure number 3, ring 2 is aromatic, but ring 1 is not. So, from these, you can clearly say, sir, these ring has more stability because both are aromatic. So, it will have more contribution. Consequently, the bond distance is expected to reflect by this canonical form. Means, this bond is expected to be double bond type, this bond is expected to be more single bond, this is more double bond, this is more single bond. This. Let's see about the real proof of this statement. Actually, this is CC bond length. By the way, if you if I say carbon-carbon, single bond distance is 154 picometer. If you say carbon-carbon double bond, it is 133 picometer. So, from there you can understand that if the bond distance is higher than 139, so you can say it has more single bond character with respect to benzene. Look at here, 142 and 140. So, they have more single bond character. But if you look at the other one, I mean here, 137 and 133, this bond, they have more double bond character means you can say the pi electron which is actually expected to be delocalized because of aromaticity is not completely delocalized it have some localization here here and here so this is the explanation as well as proof that why naphthalene has partial bond fixation or electron localization this is because of resonance and stability of the both ring for aromaticity. And by the way, if you say resonance stabilization of benzene, actually resonance stabilization of benzene 1 is 36. But if you look at resonance stabilization of aromaticity, that is less compared to 2 multiplied by 36 and 72. So it means that its resonance stabilization is not that much higher like the benzene. And this thing will be utilized in organic chemistry. And I shall explain today about four name reaction where you can see proof of this concept or application of this chemical behavior. The first one is Claisen rearrangement. By the way, student, this is actually a 3 3 sigma tropic rearrangement reaction. What happened? If you take benzene, this allyl, you can say phenyl, allyl ether of phenol, 
so if you take this one so both side this ortho position and this ortho position have equal probability for rearrangement i mean this alkyl group can migrate any one of them and it can result in ortho allyl substituted phenol derivative agree similarly if you say that sir okay equal probability on these two position then these naphthalene also have two position this one and this one both have equal probability yes both have the two or positions or ortho position but here they doesn't have equal probability why because for Claisen rearrangement the pi bond is essential and from the previous example I have shown the pi bond localization is here so consequently these allyl group will shift from here to here so this is this position by the way called alpha position this is beta position so alpha allyl substituted this alpha allyl beta naphthol is the product but the other one this position is not produced so this is one of the proof that partial bond fixation of naphthalene which produce which results in selectivity on this Claisen rearrangement agree next example is diazo coupling reaction so if you look at this is this molecule is called beta naphthol because this position is alpha this is beta and it can participate in resonance by the way i told that this bond has more double bond character so it can undergo resonance it can come here it can open so what will be the product this now you can see that this position this alpha position has more electron density so you can say this is electron rich consequently it can act as nucleophile actually it does and this diazonium salt benzene diazonium salt if you say this is ph this nitrogen has a triple bond carrying plus charge consequently here what will happen the carbon center this from here the attack will happen so you can expect that this one will react with this beta naphthol this way so this is oh double bond this lone pair will push here and these will attack there and it will come now after that what is the product here this one is the product and next step what it will undergo so there will be a proton elimination so this proton will go it will come here it will be open up and it will produce this one what is the driving force driving force is student aromaticity means stability so reaction will happen and will produce this alpha diazo substituted means as a azotyl compound so alpha substitution even if you look at what is this mechanism so if you look at here similarly one intermediate also produce like the previous one so this is a double bond o hydrogen and there is this allyl group so what is the driving force for this reaction actually this proton goes from here to this oxygen and this bond comes this so it is actually a ketoenol tautomerism and equilibrium prefers to remain in the enol side or naphthol side why because this compound is aromatic stable so same logic for both the example so now let's go to the next example that is ozonolysis by the way student uh, i have already discussed previously details on ozonolysis i'm going very fast so ozonolysis means bre breakage of carbon carbon double bond by ozone so you can say the logics are double bonds it will be broken this way one side one oxygen will be added another side another oxygen will be added so in this way four oxygen will be added fine now ozonolysis means first thing you take ozone in carbon tetrachloride and second step obviously zinc dust in water otherwise the produced hydrogen peroxide in this reaction may oxidize the carbonyl compound further so here this side is aldehyde means 1 2 benzene dialdehyde and the other side is glyoxide this indicates the fixation of double bond agree now you may ask one question sir why this ring doesn't uh, get undergo ozonolysis further first of all its electron density is less why this two electron withdrawing group aldehyde is attached here point number one second the reaction condition amount of reagent monitored in such a way that only this product is produced now the last example is actually partial bond fixation of naphthalene that is Diels-Alder reaction by the way Diels-Alder reaction is actually 4 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction okay now here since I told that this bond is has some fixation 
partial bond fixation so what happens in this case in this case you can consider that okay this undergo there it comes and it acts so in this way a new six member ring is produced by the way you may think that sir there was a naphthalene this part so it has aromatic so aromatic stabilization is destroyed in during this dual solder reaction student here the aromatic stabilization is not that much like benzene as i told some time before the aromatic stabilization is naphthalene is lesser compared to two benzene so it it here this partial bond fixation results in this cycloaddition reaction so this is the unique reactivity of naphthalene because of this partial double bond fixation so this is actually the overall discussion now let's go to the mcq by the way student here you see here this is the chromium trioxide means chromium oxidation state is plus 6 so it is an oxidizing agent because if you look at the electronic configuration its electronic configuration chromium plus 6 is argon only you may think sir argon nearest noble gas configuration should be very stable i agree but look at six electron gone very high oxidation state so that's why it is electron deficient that's why it behaves as an oxidizing agent so which where the oxidation will happen three chances are there so ring number one ring number two or methyl actually this reagent is selective for this benzene ring rings now if you look at ring number one versus ring number two who is more electron rich obviously ring number two because it is attached to this methyl group which is electron donating group electron donating in nature so since it's electron donating this chromium trioxide in acetic acid will oxidize this ring because what is the definition of oxidation if i say there are three definitions means oxygen or electronegative atom attachment removal of hydrogen or electropositive element or third position removal of electron so since this this part is electron rich so electron removal or oxidation on this ring is easier okay so here the oxidation will happen and it will produce the corresponding quinone derivative in this one so here double bond double bond oxygen so what is the answer in this case obviously the answer is option a okay why not option b because these ring number one is less electron rich compared to ring number two so this is not the option now if you look at option c versus d here one thing remember ortho benzo means ortho quinones are relatively less stable compared to the para because look at the dipole moment they are completely opposite and in between there is double bonds so it provides some amount of stability which is not possible in this case this dipolar repulsion reduces their stability consequently these ortho derivatives are more reactive compared to the para one so this is the answer so this is the end of the discussion i believe this video may be useful thanks for watching